well guys welcome back to another video now it could be a short video today because there's a forecast of heavy rain uh, but me and Adams came up Little Mountain this morning there's normally a huge vista in front of us here above the, the forest below but you can see it's absolutely socked in today it looks amazing it really does uh, it's close to where Adam lives so we're going to try and see if we can get some photography done uh, as long as we've got these conditions uh, it hasn't started to rain yet so that's good and uh, it's just simply amazing the rock that you can see there just in front of us there's a sheer drop uh, below that rock there that you can see now there's a few arbutus trees in this area uh, they look really great when you get conditions like that uh, so we'll have a good explore and see what we can come up with um, just made it up the hill Adam's van was smoking a bit so we need some <laughs> we need... oh here's Mr Gibbs now are you, are you doing the vlog are you are we... vlogging you vlogging me uh -huh. so anyway I'm gonna get away see if we can get a shot up here but it looks amazing uh, excited for what we can capture So I've came uh, to the first composition that I want to try this morning. I'll be up to see we've got this tree to my left hand side here. And there's part of a fallen tree and you've got this curvature in the trunk where it's fallen. Now I want to use that as a foreground. I've got beautiful arbutus tree just beyond that. Now what I'll do is I'll put some video and you can get a rough idea of what I'm looking at. Uh, but I was really attracted to the uh, two rocks jutting out uh, beyond the arbutus because it it adds interest there now what i've made sure to do is to make sure that the branches aren't touching those two rocks that i'm on about that's jutting out uh, i want the separation there and then over my left shoulder you've got the branches of the arbutus reaching out we've got all that atmosphere that fog i don't know whether it's fog or low cloud but it's really working out well and the fact that you've got the orange bark of the arbutus um, then you've got the the green leaves nice subtle green uh, it really stands out and it makes for a great either a square or a four by five composition so that's the shot that i'm going to go for now the rain hasn't started yet so let's hope that we can get some more images but simply amazing it really is uh, you remember in my last video we went down to englishman river falls we didn't have any fog or low cloud or anything but we did have that atmosphere that was coming off the falls itself, which also works uh, for the midges. So I'm gonna get back, get this shot, and I hope you like it. trying to slow down because I don't know how long these conditions are going to last got these arbutus trees all in a row and it looks superb it really does 
there's an opening there it's letting the light in it's hitting the sides of these trees here some nice variation there you've got some straight ones you've got this interesting one that reaches over to the left hand side of the composition which meets another three or four trees there so i think it'll make for a really nice uh, wide shot there's some atmosphere in the background so that helps with the business it simplifies the image and it's just a shot i want to capture so i'm shooting this with the 35 mil i'm getting a bit further back and it's just going to be a straightforward shot now it'll either be a 16 by 9 or i might uh, crop it down to a pano I can decide that when I get back in post uh, so I'm not going too tight and I'm not going too far away so it limits that crop when I come to crop it if that's what I decide but I am going to be shooting it as a 16 by 9 but what a splendid morning it's absolutely brilliant we came up here and we didn't expect to get long up here because it was forecast heavy rain uh, so just going to get on with it and get as many shots as we can while we've got these conditions We're still getting it, we're still getting these amazing conditions. I've met up with Adam now, he's been off in one direction, I've been off in another, trying to find images and trying to mix it up as well. I said to you before about going for the intimate shots and then going for the shots of the arbutus trees. So what's your plan now? Adam's doing a time lapse. Just and uh, I was gonna go uh, on the trail behind us, what Adam said. There isn't as much fog down there. So what I'm going to do is retrace my steps where they came first thing and see if there's anything I missed. So we're going to get on, try for some more images. Yeah, I just don't want you going down there and copying my award winners. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> where it is. So, so it, it turns out that Adam's been telling Park is. <laughs> well, what can I say? This is simply amazing. Uh, we've still got this fog whether it's fog or low cloud i'm not so sure because down by adams where adam lives is literally nothing so there's a good chance it could be low cloud but it's still working in the same way that fog would now when i got here i was panicking i was rushing and it's something you've got to try and not do but i want to try and get a video together today and make the most of it uh, so i actually used my pocket too for the change when i first came in so i've got more of a run and gun style uh, but I've got settled now, I've slowed down. Now I've got a couple of images that look really nice, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing them when I go back. Now, like I mentioned in my last video, don't get fixated with one thing, as beautiful as these trees are with the fog behind. Uh, it's hard not to want to photograph as much as I can. Uh, but I wanted to swap out for the 1 to 400. You know how much I like the 1 to 400 for those fine detail shots it's a great lens for doing that it's absolutely fantastic and it's one of my go-to lenses for abstract so i want to get some detail of these arbutus tree really home in on some of those beautiful colors and patterns that's created on these trees um i've got a tree here now you probably able to see people have graffitied on it they've scoured into the bark which is disappointing it, i don't know why people do that spoil the beauty in this part of the forest here uh, this well it's not a forest i think it's just a hillside with trees um but i found a section where people haven't scoured on it there's still some of them beautiful patterns textures and that amazing orangey red color so that's what i want to go for so i put the one to 400 on and i'm going in round about 180 mil really getting close to this tree and pulling that detail forward 
I put the polarizer there is a little bit of sheen on there so and I want to enrich those colors now I've gone for the square format uh, really got in on that detail it makes for a lovely composition so I've chose the one by one in camera itself the aspect ratio and that's a good thing about having that feature in the a7r4 you can rotate and go through all the aspect ratios choose what you want and it discards any of the distractions that you have, might have to the left or the right or whatever like that and it just helps you out with compositions from time to time so that's the shot that i'm going to go for i don't know how long we're going to get these conditions but i have been able to slow down and hopefully we can get some more images before the morning's done Now we might have to speed up again. I've noticed behind us there, the fog, the low cloud seems to be shifting. Uh, so I don't know how much longer we're gonna, we're gonna get, but what a great morning, absolutely brilliant. It's been so long since I've had conditions like this to work with. Look at this amazing tree. The red, the red's as nearly as red as my jacket. It just reaches up over the almost black and white parts of the, uh, the trunk here. And you've got the oranges and you've got the reds but the area that interested us was this area here now what i want to do i want to do a half and half because you've got all this color to the right hand side and then like i've just said you've got almost this black and white uh, to the left side so the contrast there is amazing between the color and the darks with the little flecks of white in there. So I'm basically just selecting this small area. There's no graffiti there. And I think it just makes for a beautiful abstract image. So that's what I'm going for. I'm putting the polarizer on like I did earlier, just to take some of the sheen off, deepen those colors. Uh, but what a beautiful tree it is, apart from that graffiti. So I'm gonna get back and get this shot and see how much longer, I just hope it lasts all day, it'd be brilliant if it did. So I'm gonna get back, get this shot, and I hope you like it. Well, how things have changed so quickly from speaking to you earlier on there, uh, the conditions have totally changed. We've still got low cloud and fog over towards the mountains, but the stretch of forest on this mountainside here that we're on, it's cleared. Now the location I'm at here at the moment, it's where I took that pano style shot. Remember those arbutus trees? Got this interesting one reaching over my head. I'll be able to see probably how busy it is in the background now uh, compared to earlier on when we had that atmosphere and fog behind those trees so it acted as a nice blank canvas and hid some of that busyness in the forest behind. So I'm going to try for one more image uh, before I call it an end to today's video. Now my attentions came towards these trees again. These three trees in particular because they're larger than the other trees to my left there. There's a lot more detail and colour on them. Some of the bark's peeled off, uh, so it adds a bit of interest. Now these three trees are spaced when you stand back, but the closer you get, it closes the gaps. So what I'm wanting to do is, you've got this main tree in front, and then two either side. I want to get close enough, so I can close them gaps, and then it just becomes one. So you'll have the three trunks of the trees, but with no gaps 
either side of this one here and it's going to be a square composition it's a detailed shot i just want to capture that color the bark peeling off and i think it's a really nice image to end the day because there probably won't be any more images it's getting darker we've lost the atmosphere uh, but what a fantastic day it's been so i'm going to be shooting this with the one to 400 again round about 120 mil and i've leveled off the camera zoomed in slightly to close those gaps like i was saying and uh, that's the shot now i'm putting the polarizer on it's not doing a great deal but it is adding a slight bit of color there so after I've got this shot, I am going to pack up. I'm going to catch up with Adam. Uh, we'll see if we can come across anything else uh, before we decide to call it a day. Uh, but it's just a nice image to capture before I head further up these trails. Well, look at that behind us. What an amazing sight it is to end the day. You'll be able to see we've got some low cloud in there. We've got the mountains, we've got fog. Now, if we had some light in there, it'd look amazing because the, the light would hit that fog and cloud and really light up and you possibly get some, some rays of light as well. As nice as it looks, it looks pretty flat uh, without that light. Uh, but what a great day it's been it's been absolutely brilliant now the cliff that we're on we're on little mountain here the fog the cloud has dissipated on this on the edge of the the cliff here where the trees and everything are that we've been photographing today uh, so we have decided to call it an end today but what a fabulous day it's been and i hope you guys have enjoyed it i don't always get overly excited but the conditions today have been welcoming it's been some time since I've had conditions like this to photograph in and I've made the most of it and I've tried to mix it up done some abstract style shots got some shots of the trees earlier on while we had that fog so I hope you've enjoyed today's video hope you can take something away from it as always remember try and go for those smaller scenes try and mix it up breeze is starting to pick up now so there's a good chance that there's going to be rain uh, but it's been amazing so I hope you give the video a thumbs up, it really does help with the algorithm, gets my name out there, gets people to recognise us, uh, it's a pleasure bringing you the, these videos along with the images. Don't forget to leave a comment below, I always reply to your comments and it's always a pleasure to read them as well. But from here on Little Mountain, thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.